Sing along. I let everything that has breath. I praise the Lord. I said praise the Lord. I let everything that has breath. I praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. I love it. I'll praise in the valley. I'll praise on the mountain. I'll praise when I'm doubting. I'll praise when I'm doubting. We got this. Let's go. I'll praise when I number. I'll praise when surrounded. Cause praise is the water. My enemies drowning. Come on, all together. As long as I'm breathing, I got a reason to Praise is a weapon. My praise is a weapon. It's more than a sound. My praise is the shout that brings Jericho down. Sing as long as I'm breathing. As long as I'm breathing, I got a reason to praise the Lord of my soul. Praise him on the drum solace. Come on, let's sing together. I'll praise cause you're sovereign. Praise cause you reign. Praise cause you rose in the feet of the grave. I'll praise, praise cause you're faithful. Praise cause you're true. Praise cause there's nobody greater than you. Praise cause you saw praise cause you reign, praise cause you rose in the feet of Come on. Praise cause you faith, praise cause you're true, praise cause there's nobody greater than you. Praise, hands up. Praise the Lord, oh my soul. All together, let's sing. Welcome to church. Why don't you grab a seat for a moment? I'm not going to be long, but uh, I am a preacher, so that statement can sometimes be misleading. My my definition of long is sometimes a little different uh, to yours, and uh, I am saying that this morning to set you up, to let you know that we are in for 75 minutes this morning, not of just me, of a of a packed morning that we call for our city Sunday. For our city Sunday, and it's rooted in this idea that you know I have four kids and they're all grown now. But there was a season of their life 
where they were full of questions. If you're an auntie, an uncle or a parent, I wonder if you remember that moment when it was always the, what's that for? What's that for? What's that for? Why? Yeah, anyone, anyone, anyone kind of like can at least relate a little bit, yeah? My wife, those moments of what's that for? What's that for? A lot of times it's kind of rooted in a, in a selfish uh, grounding. For example, a, a little friend of ours, uh, she's three years old and she comes around, there's a cake on the bench and she straight away goes, Ben, what's that for? What she wants to know is, can I have it? Can I have some? As the kids grow, the questions still come and, and uh, trying to get an understanding of what things are for, how they work, it really uh, plays a part in, in the everyday life. One of my sons, I have two, so I'm not gonna tell you which one for sake of anonymity, but one of them has completed a white card in his construction efforts and directions in life. And as such, I'm a bit of a, I'm a bit of a handyman. I love doing things around the house. And as he was completing that, I was getting him to help me with some of these building projects. And I would say, can you go get the router? And he would say, is that the one that goes Am I, yeah. And then I would say, can you go get the jigsaw? And he'd be like, is that the one that just goes like, Yeah. <laughs> And then I discovered that if I started telling him what the tool was for, it started making a whole lot more sense. Can you get the tool that bores a hole? Can you get the tool that does this? Can you get the tool that does that? I say all of that because when people drive past the churches of our city, I wonder if they're asking the question, what is that for? And that's what today's about. Because I really believe that that question is answered in Matthew. In Matthew 5, 16, Jesus said this. He said, Let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify your Father which is in heaven. He was addressing a Jewish audience in this state, in this, in this statement. And he's truly saying, I want you to be a lighthouse of sense. I want you, because of what I've done in and through your life, to be for those that are around you, to be for the city that you're in. I want you to let your light shine. Not so that you get all the glory and all the praise and boy, that church is amazing. But it is simply, what is the church for? It is a place that ought to do good works for the glory and honour of a God that's equipped us, enabled us and blessed us to do just those things. So when people drive past the lighthouse and there's many other great churches in our city, our hope is that mums and dads would be able to answer that question with two words when they say, Dad, Mum, what's that for? Their answer would be, our city. That's what the church is for. It's, it's a light. It, it helps. It, 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 it lends a hand. It, it, it's, it's just really good that they're in our city. And that's why we sing. That's why we praise. That's why we have these moments. And I want to encourage you to come along with us this morning. We have these days to expand your understanding of what's happening in our city to stir in your hearts a greater understanding of how we could be a part of the need that exists and to truly make a statement that we are for our city. The team's going to come and sing. The band is going to lead us in a song. And if you're here today for the first time, uh, if, if church is something you haven't been in, involved in in a while, we are so glad that you are here. Whether you've been here a hundred times or it's the first we encourage you to engage however you feel most comfortable. If you want to sit there and just listen, do that. If you want to get engaged and stand and raise hands in, in acknowledgement of, of the truth in the song, do that. We want you to make yourself at home and, and acknowledge this morning that there is no expectation on you. Church can sometimes be known as a place that's real good at judging. And we want to be known as a place that puts that on the shelf and lets people come to God as they are and a place that is for 
its city. So let's continue to sing this great message. Thank you, Pastor Ben. And hey, if you want to stand this morning, if you're able to, we're going to continue to worship and continue to sing, declaring this song that there's hope for you, there's hope for our city. Where there is no hope, there is hope in the name of Jesus. We believe this, so we're going to declare this this morning. We're going to speak the name, the holy name, the powerful name, the chain-breaking name of Jesus. Because I just want to speak the name of Jesus over every heart, over every heart and every mind. Because I know there is peace within your presence. I speak Jesus I just want to speak the name of Jesus Till every dark addiction starts to break Declaring there is hope and there is freedom
worship under your breath. We declare peace. We declare hope for this city. We declare hope in this room. We pray the Holy Spirit fall fresh on us. Fill us and give us the hope that we need to shine a light. Across the room, shout Jesus. Shout Jesus from the mountain. Jesus in the streets. Oh, Jesus in the darkness over every enemy. Jesus from my family. generations the hope for our city he is overall we're going to declare this song out together he is almighty God he is Elohim let's sing this he is almighty God Elohim maker of the earth he is the Lord of hosts heaven's king God of endless worth his kingdom stands above every power Every living soul, His love is like the sun, ever true, shining. Come on, you sing. He is almighty God, Elohim, you're the maker of He's the Lord. Let your song rise. Let's keep singing. 